Hello, my name is Keith Bailey, back to do my rankings, number 16 through number 9. If you were here the last time, rankings 25 through 17 are as follows. 20, oh, excuse me, 24 to 17. 24, I had the Buccaneers. 23, I had the Falcons. 22 was the Vikings. 21 was the Giants. 20 was the Jets. 19 was the Cowboys. 18 is the Lions. 17 is the Rams. Number 16, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. It seems right, given their mediocrity the last two years, both eight and eight seasons, they're number 16. They're right in the middle of the pack there. And I think they had a very good pickup in the draft. Ohio State Buckeye, uh, Shazier, I believe his name is. <laughs> He's going to be a beast for the Steelers. But... This team, it doesn't look like they're growing up, doesn't look like they're going down. They seem a little average to me right now. That's why I have them stuck right in the middle. It's just, they got to get out of this 8-8 eight and eight slump. They're going to pull a Dallas Cowboys. That's all the Cowboys do. But I think the Steelers need to get their heads in gear. And I think based on their finish last season, finishing the season 6-2 and two on a 6-2 and two run, Maybe that'll give them some momentum going into the season, but we'll see. Number 15, I have the Steelers' arch-rival Baltimore Ravens. Again, another 8-8 eight and eight team last year. And the Steelers finished ahead of them in the standings. But I think the Ravens picking up Steve Smith is going to be a help for Joe Flacco. Joe Money, huge contract that he just totally blew. I mean, why would you offer a guy that kind of contract when all he had was four good games in the playoffs? He didn't do anything last year, Joe Flacco did. I don't think he's worth that kind of money, but Baltimore thinks he is, so you know what? I think he deserves another chance. He only led him to the playoffs for five straight years, so I got to cut him some, a little bit of slack. But I have them at number 15. Things are looking a little up. They, they're they getting a little younger, but Ray Rice is getting old, and that needs to be addressed. Number 14, I have the San Diego Chargers. Quite a sleeper team last year, going 9-7, and seven, becoming one of six teams in the AFC with a winning record, and blazing a trail through the playoffs that I, I still remember. I mean, they were the fifth, they were the fifth place team last year. Granted that the only reason they were fifth place is because of they were the last divisional game that had to be played against Denver. But regardless, when you go into Cincinnati and stomp them, and then you go into Denver and you hang 17 on them and keep the entire game within a possession, they actually had the closest game out of all four divisional matchups. So, But they're 14 because there are teams that are better than them. They had a little bit of a Cinderella run last year, and just because you're finished fifth in the league doesn't mean you're going to be fifth in the standings. You're number 14, San Diego. I like you guys, and I think you guys are going to do well, but you got to you got to prove it to me this year. Number 13, I have the Chicago Bears. Arguably one of the best wide receiver duos in NFL is forming or has already formed back there. I mean... Jay Cutler's got some toys to play with. Andy's got Forte in the backfield. This is the team that, yeah, they finished 8-8 eight and eight last year, and again, they missed out on the playoffs. And again, I'll say, I personally think they're a lot worse than pe what people think. They go into the season with all this hype. They start really hot. They start 3-0. and They start 5-0 and or 7-0, and which it was two years ago, and they end up missing the playoffs. I mean, it's always familiar. Number 12, I have the Carolina Panthers. When you lose Steve Smith and basically your entire wide receiver crew, I'm going to dock you down a couple of spots. In their case, I ducked them down more than a couple of spots based on the teams that I have ahead of them. I mean, yes, you're the Carolina Panthers. Yes, you have Cam Newton. Yes, you have a very good defense. But in a division that is getting better, Atlanta's not going to have nearly the same kind of season they had last year this year. 
Buc the Buccaneers are going to be a lot better. The Saints are already good. And then there's Carolina, the defending division winner. And losing all your receivers doesn't really bode well, but we'll see what happens. Cam Newton can't do it all himself. Someone's got to step up. Number 11, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. It's been the same story the last three years for them. Make it to the playoffs, lose in the wild card round. Whether you're home or away, doesn't matter. The same thing happened in 09 against the Jets. They lost 24-14 in that one. But the last three seasons, it's about Andy Dalton's playoff mistakes. He's thrown six interceptions in his three playoff games. And he needs to step it up in the playoffs. But first and foremost, you got to get there. And with the AFC North the way that it is with Cleveland, Cleveland's getting a little bit of steam here. The Ravens and Steelers, could got, they could go either way, either of them, but they're still solid ball clubs. The Bengals have teams behind them that are catching up, and their window of opportunity started three years ago. It's starting to close now. Number 10, I have the Kansas City Chiefs, a team that started undefeated 9-0 and last year and then fizzled down the stretch, stretch losing six of its last eight games. And that playoff game, oh my goodness, how do you give up a lead like that? Of course, I'm talking. I'm the Titans fan over here. Big uh, Buffalo comeback. Um, but regardless, the Kansas City Chiefs defense got a lot worse as the year went on. Part of the fact is that they played the Chargers twice and the Broncos twice in the last uh, six games of their uh, regular season. Or not six, seven, excuse me. But for those seven games... We're up against four, uh, four of the best offenses in the NFL. Denver twice, San Diego twice, and the Colts for that matter. And the Colts are no slouch. They can put up points too. So Kansas City, yes, your defense did fizzle down the stretch, but you were still a solid ball club last year, and you're gonna you're a top ten football team. So prove it to me again this year. You guys are in a tough division, and anything goes. With Denver in that division, you got to rely on your uh, victories outside the division more than inside, but still inside is important. you got to win those. They lost four of those last year. They got swept by Denver, and they got swept by San Diego. That's got to change. And then my number nine team, the team that I'm finishing the rankings off, is the Arizona Cardinals. I like Arizona. Excuse me, any technical difficulties. Apparently I'm not plugged in. Yeah, I'm not plugged in. Wow, what is this? Okay. Excuse me. Anyways, the Arizona Cardinals had a very good season last year. No one thought they were going to do as well as they did. Wow, screen got brighter. No one thought they were going to do as well as they did. They went 10 and 6. The sad thing is, they could have gone 11 and 5 when they, if they would have beaten the Niners in their Week 17 game, and they still would have missed the playoffs. That's how tough their division is, and that's how tough the NFC is. If you look at all the teams in the NFC, you can make a case for every single one of those teams to get to the playoffs. But Arizona, you got a bad luck of the draw with San Francisco and Seattle, plus the St. Louis Rams. They're a pretty good ball club too, you know thrashing teams like the Colts and the Saints. I mean, it's what the NFC West does now. But the Arizona Cardinals, very solid team. We'll see if last year was a fluke or a fact come this season. If they can do 8-8 eight and eight or better, I'm going to be a believer in them. Plus, their head coach is a pretty good head coach. Bruce Arians, very solid, very underrated. So those are my rankings uh, 16 through 9. Stay tuned. I'm going to do number 8 through 1. I decided to just package it, put it all in a bundle. Season's approaching, so I got to get on that. But thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you next time.